episode of Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. So we are going to get us a little bit of goodies here. Um, first thing is I'm going to get us some bombs um, because one of the bosses, or the little mini bosses I should say, that we are going to be going up against, um, we will need some bombs for that. And I just dropped bombs into said water. Go figure. So that's going to be the first thing we are going to do. Do it one more time, get us a decent amount of bombs. And I'll explain why we are going to need bombs here momentarily. Second thing is, we're going to go ahead and uh, teleport over to Southern Swamp. Because we are going to get us some Deku Nuts. five or six Deku Nuts just for the sake of making sure that you have enough for the one of the bosses. Awkward. We go into the wall. <laughs> I just noticed that. But I guess that's supposed to be like foliage that's coming out of the off the side and all that stuff covering the wall. I guess maybe. I, I don't know. Let's see. While we're waiting for that to come up, let's. Okay, so that's all of that. Okay, so one more. Deco nut should be good for us. So now we are going to teleport over to Akana Canyon. Right, so now we are going to enter a little mini dungeon, mud dungeon, oh boy, dungeon here, so, we don't need that. So we are going to put on our Zora mask, and we are going to swim upstream into this hole. waterfall. Now we are in this secret shrine. So, um, you can slash up anything that you may need. So, obviously it looks, oh, Deku Nuts, there we go. So, if you didn't get any Deku Nuts, I would go ahead and suggest getting those. What is it? Alright. So, first thing we are going to do is we are going to get our light arrows. And we are going to shoot the sun face on the wall. Which is going to allow us to open the door. And there's the creepy one I do. I thought we got rid of him. Anywho, um, it seems that um, we have managed to put all the wandering spirits to peace. However, there's still plenty lingering around with this grit, so we're gonna go fix that. All right, so we have this lovely little puzzle here that uh, 
has four different chambers so we are going to go into it from left to right um, meaning that it goes from the least amount of hearts up to the most amount of hearts that you have to be able to complete this little mini dungeon area you need exactly 16 pieces of hearts or more so the first room we are going to enter in is going to be with a Delphos. And just like any of the other ones, he's fairly easy to beat. But it looks like we have more than one. Alright, go ahead and continue onwards. What do we get as a reward? A uh, hundred rupees. Yay! Um, this will actually help if you have not completed that 5,000 rupee thing for the bank to get that piece of heart. Alright, so now we are ready to move right along. So now we are going to do the room right here on the left. And as you can see, up on top, all the little hearts, that's how many hearts you should have total. All right, in this room, we have Wizard again for the fifth time. Fifth or sixth time. I think it's fifth time. Um, he's not as hard. And it's more of just the fact that we don't have a... A, uh, a map to help us locate them. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? open the chest over here for another hundred rupees all right for the next area we are going to go ahead and make our way over yonder all right so easy to be oh. just jump in the water Alright, so our next boss, first thing first, we are going to get set up for it. We need our decanuts, regular arrows, and our bombs. So when you're ready, go ahead and Z target looking up, and we have worked just sitting on the on the wall, having fun. So I tried to do this a little bit in the Great Falls or Great Bay Temple. But we're gonna try this again. So I am going to use the Deku Nut and Grape uh, and Bomb Challenge here in a sense uh, where you take a bomb, you throw it at port, it blows up. Thank you. 
problem is if his eye is open and you do this, there's a chance you could cause damage. Alright, so we are out of Deku Nuts, which is no big deal. That just means now we have to do it the old-fashioned way. First things first, let's get rid of all these lovely, juggly... is warped. All gone. And time for our next piece of heart. Or not hefty piece of heart. <laughs> Just kidding. Our next 100 rupees. Alright. Let's make our way to the next room. And finally, the last room of this area, we get to do, let's see, so there's all the hearts that we technically would need, which would be exactly 16 pieces of heart. Uh, so our next person is the Guru Master. Stand too close, he'll blow you up. Alright, so we get our last 100 rupees in this chest. And now we get to go back and go talk to the one eyed goon. Which, I mean, technically, he doesn't actually vanish, more of he just kind of goes wherever. Alright, go ahead and open the chest to where we get our next heart piece. Which will give us a total of 19 pieces of heart. Alright, so with that, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. Ugh. Gotta figure out where we go. Wrong way. There we go. So in the next episode, we are going to make our way to the moon. So if you have not done so already, I would highly suggest um, doing any type of optional side quest, things that you need to do. Let's say... Um, the Anju and Cafe side quest, uh, getting all your monies for the bank, anything like that. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and sort of clock down. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and um, do this all the time because we obviously have to wait for the final time, which means we have time to burn. So if anything, um, we're actually using that time to wisely in doing anything else that we need to do. So with that said, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. In the next episode, like I said, we are going to be making our way to the moon. So with that, I will see y'all in the next one. Take care, folks. <laughs>